from security to infrastructure. Passion is the major missing link in the leadership of the country, and that's why bandits are having a field day. And that's the view of Governor Yesen Wike of River State during the inauguration of the dualized Ogunabali Eastern Bypass Road in Port Harcourt. He explains that the perks of proximity to leadership should be assessed based on the number of people-oriented projects. The special guest and former governor of Sokoto State, Ali Wamako, appreciates the leadership style and passion of Governor Wike in project execution. The problem we have in this country today, we don't have people who have that passion, who want to serve their people. The only regret I have, I don't have the opportunity to tell the bandits enough is uh, enough. If I had the opportunity, the bandits know their time will be gone. But it's unfortunate I don't have it. But this one I have, I will use it and serve my people so that they will be happy and that they deserve the best. You know, in government, people claim they are close to people that are close to those in government. There's nothing wrong in close to people. There's nothing wrong. But what is important, what have you been able to achieve in being close to those in authority? May God forbid me to be close to a president or a vice president and nothing will come to my community. May God for I will never have that kind of relationship. Have you known you for some 10 to 15 years back, and having observed and watched you as governor for the last seven years, I was wondering what word or what to be, to be used to be describe you. You have seen what you can do, I've seen what you have done, and I believe that you have the capacity to do more. Because to me, in terms of any government, it to the extent which it attempts to serve, to address the yearnings and aspirations of the government. And that you have done very courageously and adequately. The Commissioner for Works in the River State, Mr. Labu George Kelly, joins us from Port Harcourt to discuss the impact of these projects on the lives and people in a River State. A warm welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. Now, the River State government has started another series of projects. Can you walk us through some of these projects that have been commissioned so far? Yes, um, the commissioning of projects started yesterday um, with the Orochiri Wurukwo flyover bridge that was commissioned yesterday. And uh, today, again, the Ubunabali um, Eastern Bypass Dualize Road has also been commissioned. There are also um, a plethora of several other projects to be commissioned within the next two weeks and some also to be flagged off. A lot of infrastructural development is ongoing in River State. Is this due to an infrastructural deficit before Governor Yusin Wike came along, or is the governor just passionate about infrastructure development? Both. <clears throat> yes, our government is very, very passionate about infrastructural development. That is why we have an infrastructural revolution. Um, River State. I also agree with you that before he took over as governor of River State, there was a lot of infrastructural deficit, and all of these gaps he has been able to fill them. Now, while filling these gaps, has it been able to fill the pulse of the people to really know that these projects are impactful and making a difference in their lives? Yes, these projects have positive impacts. <clears throat> Some of them are quick impact projects. Some of them um, have short-term benefits. Some of them have long-term benefits. And all of these projects have 
you know, a very great, great uh, impact on the socioeconomic dynamics of rivers people. It, uh, especially our road and flyover projects makes um, um, ease of doing business in river states very, very, uh, very, very much um, um, easier. It boosts ease of doing business in river states. Uh, houses, uh, the properties, the, the cost of properties are getting higher because of all of this infrastructural development. The aesthetics of our landscape has been boosted like never before. River State has changed. If you come to Port Harcourt and you've not been here in the past four years, you'll be shocked what is happening. In about um, in less than four years, in less than four years, we'll be having the 12th uh, flyover, which uh, will be inaugurated very soon. Well, how widespread are these projects? Some critics claim it's just urban-centric. No, 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 no. There is no local government in River State you go to that you not feel the impact of Governor Yenson Wiki. In every local government in River State, I challenge anyone to say that there is no sign, there is no presence of Yenson Wiki in. It appears we appear to have lost audio of uh, Mr. Alabo George Kelly, is the River State Commissioner for Works. He has been discussing the impact of the project in River State.